What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, Al, the Postmaster. Tomorrow, today, I have a gear review on the Gill Old School Bag Mitts. Folks, as always, I'm incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review as today I have a new brand to the channel, one that some of you may not have heard of, and that is Professional Gill, which is a Mexican brand, and uh, these are their old school bag mitts, and I got these from Box Up Nation, I think in May of 2022, so I've had them for a good chunk of time, I've used them quite a lot. And uh, I'm really excited to do this review because uh, there's a bunch of these different Mexican workshops down in like Mexico City or that area that make really good equipment that just people haven't heard of in the States because we're not getting it from Mexico. Now we have guys like Box of Nation, The Boxing Collector, or other guys that are actually getting these from Mexican workshops and shipping them worldwide, which is awesome. So when I saw these came out in Citrus Orange, which as you know, I am a sucker for Citrus Orange. It's my favorite type of orange is my favorite color on the planet. I had to get these. Uh, I also read all your comments, guys, and a lot of you guys want to know what I use the hip bags with, whether it be I see them on Instagram or TikTok, stuff like that, uh, or on YouTube. Some people ask me what I hit the bag with. So I'm going to start doing more reviews on my bag gloves and bag mitts. And for me, once again, this is a bag mitt, okay? There's a couple different types of things I hit bags with, like this is a bag mitt, and then on top of it, I say this is a bag glove because this is like a standard boxing glove nowadays. Whereas if you have a bag mitt like this, it looks like a pair of oven mitts almost. It's really where the term came from. It looks like a mitt that you put or a mitten that you put over your hand. So this is a bag mitt, not like focus mitts. This is a bag mitt. Okay. Uh, so this is made by Gill. And honestly, guys, I, for once, I don't really have a whole lot about the history of the brand itself. Uh, Gill, as far as I know, the owner used to work for a company called Zeppel, I believe it was called, which was, I want to say, another brand associated with Casanova Boxing, which has been around for a long time, as well as Nicali Boxing, which is also in Mexico. I believe these are based in Mexico City, uh, so that's definitely something that... Um, I read on Nikali's website, and you can also buy these through Nikali and Box Up Nation. Uh, that's where I got these. I don't think Gill has their own website. I think they are, as Box Up Nation has on their on their website, they are an independent brand that has a small workshop based, once again, I believe, in Mexico City, and they make really old time. Uh, Mexican made equipment and a lot of people that I've seen like my fellow reviewers uh, that review Gill say that these are some of the best Mexican style gloves that they've used which is a really awesome compliment. Uh, I remember showing these to my boxing coach who boxed throughout the 60s and 70s and he said that they reminded him of the bag mitts that he would use and he reminded them of uh, and he used a lot of tough wear he said it was tough wear reyes and everlast were really the biggest brands that you saw in the 70s especially but everlast is usually what you fought in you usually sparred in tough wear and a lot of the times you use bag mitts that were made by reyes which was cool uh you know then obviously in the 70s some guys started fighting in reyes he said he fought in reyes gloves a couple times but when i showed him these he said down to the stitching everything looks very similar to the old school bag gloves he just said that the padding is definitely a little bit different and he also said that uh the velcro wouldn't have been a thing it would have been an elastic strap or a little uh a rope strap he said or some people would just tie it off with tape and then he said not often were they enclosed with the thumb usually they had a little hole which still bag mitts are made this way they would cut a tip here you'd have a hole with your thumb popping out that way. Uh, so that's something that they would talk about, um, that my coach talked about. But other than that, he said the construction and quality of the glove looked like an old school uh, bag mitt that he would use back in the day, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, so as far as my model, you can get a couple different colors. You can get them in gray, blue, red, black, and orange. Still on Box Up Nation is where I saw them. And I also think on Gill, I saw another colorway. It was like green. And they do, I think, even make customized uh, Gill glove as, uh, gloves as well. And they might take a while because, like I said, I think it's really just a couple people operation down making that glove, if not a one-man operation. Uh well, overall, the model I have is orange. It's in Velcro. They don't have the elastic version that I saw. And uh, they come in two different sizes. They come in large and medium. So I imagine large fits bigger hands and medium fits smaller hands. So that's kind of the gist that I got. I also see the number three here, which honestly, I don't know what that is supposed to be. I want to sound cool and say it's the... Uh, it's the third glove that they made. Granted, I did buy these uh, from him, and he said that uh, from uh, Box of Nation, he said there were only a few. I have assumed that they've made more since, but uh, yeah. So going into the glove itself, the look of the glove. Uh, probably the shortest look of the glove that we'll ever have on the channel. It is an orange bag mitt. That's it. That's the video. No, I'm just, uh, but it is an orange bag mitt. I mean, that's really all there is to say. The whole entire striking surface is that nice citrus orange. You can see the white stitching all the way throughout here. And you can kind of see where the stitching gets a little like, I won't say hectic, but get, definitely gets like a little weird towards the bottom here. And it is pronounced even more than you have your professional gill. And it says it right there, and that's their logo right there. Gil, G-I-L, Hecho in Mexico, or Hecho in Mexico. I'm never going to say that right. And then uh, professional towards the top there. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, as far as the rest of the glove goes, you can see the white stitching. You can see the thumb with more white stitching with a small grip bar here. Uh, the thumb, though, you can kind of see where the leather turns brown, where the, uh, what's it called? where the uh, paint didn't get to it, so or the dye didn't get to it. So it definitely has that uh, brownish leather color right there. The interior lining is black, as you can see here. And once again, we have that little three stamp down there. Uh, but other than that, that's basically the whole look of the glove. And the Velcro is black, and you can see the stitching throughout the Velcro as well as all white. All the stitching of the glove is white. Going into the construction of the glove, as you can see, that it has a small little curve to it, like most bag mitts will. Uh, and that's because of the pre-curved mold of the latex padding that you have here. Now, the latex is uh, it's actually not stiff per se, but you have the leather over top of it, which is very high quality leather. I mean, right now my, my recording room smells like this glove. It smells like a brand new dress shoe and I love that. Uh, it smells awesome. The whole glove, except for the interior lining and the Velcro obviously is made of that leather. And it's of pretty stretched tight leather over the latex. So the latex feels a little stiffer for that region. Uh, but overall, it still is a pretty soft latex feel. And you can see that it's latex by pulling it in and letting it just pop back out. And it's really maybe a half inch of padding at most, like most bag gloves will have. So you have that latex here, and you have the latex here, and you even have a little bit of it down here around the wrist. So in my opinion, uh, you know, what I thought at first before really you can see just the this splits going down here is that it was one solid piece but i think it was one solid piece they stitched through it here and then they separated it and made two solid pieces one here and one there to make it one solid um bag mitt right there so all of that is just a nice latex material and then uh once we get to the interior lining it's that canvas type of like you can hear it it's like that canvas denim feel that you get with like Grant or the Everlast MX and stuff like that. And uh, the one thing I'll say about it is when you put your hand on the inside, for one, this part doesn't stretch out too far. So maybe I would have made that a little bit more flexible. So I definitely have to like wiggle my hand in there a little bit more. It also kind of feels like this um, is a little tight. And even though my, my fingers are a little short and stubby, my thumb is like right at the tip here. Um, I wouldn't ever cut this off, but I definitely see some people would. My boxing coach flat out said he would. It doesn't necessarily provide any more support to your thumb. It's just kind of there. It does make your thumb pretty sweaty as there are no breathe holes. But granted, I've never once complained about that. You also have a grip bar that doesn't go across the entire uh, palm. It's just kind of 
around here uh, in the center. But I think that's kind of natural for where the punch is gonna go. Um, the interior lining is kind of rough on the hand, I guess, so you really want to wrap your hands. And the Velcro strap, because of how like stiff the lining is with the, with the leather, doesn't really strap it down on my hand. So it's really easy for me to kind of like pull it, but my hand's not going to come out because my hand's just a little bit too big for the, not for the mitt itself, but my hand's not going to come out because the thumb really kind of locks me in and I'm like suction cupped in there. Uh, I have to readjust it because my finger's in there, but I wish it maybe strapped to my wrist just a little bit better than it does now. Granted, it's not coming off, but I think that's more just a curvature of the glove towards the top that's keeping me from doing that. Um, the other thing about it that I don't like, which you can't really see now, but like when you sweat and you have like hand wraps on, it stains your hand, like your fingers and your hand wraps green and like blackish. It's like a blackish green color. I don't like that. I don't know if it's going to do that now. Not really because I'm not sweaty, but that's one thing that I noticed with this is that it does stain my, my wraps in my hand. And also the other thing is. I do have to squeeze somewhat hard. Like it naturally wants to just kind of pop open like this. So I have to squeeze pretty hard to make a fist at all times. Although it does feel pretty comfortable when I make that contact, uh, I, I have to squeeze a little bit harder at all times because like watch, if I just relax my hand for one second, pops open that quick, right? Uh, whereas if I, I kind of have to lightly do that, it's still not squeezing as hard as I have to to make a solid fist. It has good grips, you know, so if you want to do like bag and mitt work with it and get your Muay Thai on, you're welcome to do that. Uh, but as far as these go, uh, they look really cool to me and they operate well, but don't take my word for it. Let's go into the bag view so you can actually see these in action. So when it comes to hitting the bag with these, like I said, you get that really classic Mexican style feel, all the punchers feel, your knuckles sink right through the glove into the bag and it gives you this nice pop and recoil. And the one thing I love about these gloves being so curved is that you get real feedback and timing on your hands. Uh, also, because they're a really open bag mitt, they're great for tie work as far as grips and plums go and really good for mitt work with like MMA and, and stuff like that. I really like using these uh, for mitts as well, just if I'm trying to get stuff in. But I mean, the other nice thing about it is if you have strong hands, you can hit the bag pretty hard but I really like these because like I said with gloves like these they really keep you accountable for yourself you're able to get really good work in and uh, you know have fun at the same time and it keeps you safe it keeps you on point and I really love them obviously they're light bag mitts so they're very easy to use so when it comes to the look of these gloves, you know, they definitely uh, pop out in the gym compared to a lot of other ones. Because I feel like you don't see a whole lot of orange gloves out there unless they have like flames on them or a race car <laughs> or something like that. But I really like this nice citrus orange. It's my favorite color on the planet. Uh, you know, I think people are definitely going to look at those and be like, what are those? Those are definitely something that maybe a modern person might not have seen. So they definitely have a great classic look. All right. So my final verdict on the gill or professional gill uh, bag mitts are, I really like these. There's just a few things that I do to curtail and fix them. I do use them pretty often, uh, but I do like other bag mitts over them. Uh, my biggest thing that I'll say about them is that they are very, very, very well made as far as the materials go. And I'm shocked that they're not more expensive than they are. Granted for a bag mitt of this size, they go for about 70 bucks. And I know not a whole ton of people are gonna go for a bag mitt unless they're really invested in just hitting the bag or unless they're a pro that want a nice bag mitt that's gonna spend 70 bucks on it. But overall the leather, I mean, like I said, my whole room smells like this glove right now. And I love that. Uh, so it smells really good on the back of my hand. Uh, it smells really good in the air. Uh, and it's really durable leather. The latex is a little stiffer compared to some other gloves out there. And I think it's because the leather is stretched so far over it. But that's the one, I think, complaint is that the stitching kind of holds the leather so tight that it's kind of keeping the glove in this shape and preventing me from like being able to move around enough. Uh, the thumb is a little tight. And I have felt my wrist kind of jar up like this every now and again with this glove. It does not happen often. And it's not necessarily pain. It's just kind of you feel it there. And I mean, if you have brittle hands, I mean, forget about it as far as the knuckle padding goes. Because latex for one, I mean, I can feel my knuckles literally like the bone right here. 
Uh, so you can fit hand wraps in here, not a lot of it. And then on top of it, I wouldn't use white hand wraps because I had a pair of winning hand wraps using with these and they got stained black. You know, basically blackish green color is what you get from that. Uh, but overall, they're, they're comfortable to an extent. I don't like how stiff the inside of the, the glove is, that denim type feel. I just... I never understood that for me. I've heard too many people say that that material will like mold. I've never had mold on this, obviously, but I know the Everlast MX, apparently that lining molds in that, which is crazy. I also don't know where people are putting their gloves to have it mold like that. Um, they're probably keeping it in their bags. I do not, uh, but I mean, as far as that goes, I mean, the, the padding itself feels so stiff on the inside and it is really rough on the hand. So you gotta use hand wraps big time with that um, as far as that goes. Uh, the grip bar is very, very hard uh, compared to some other grip bars out there. It's actually pretty stiff. It feels like a hose pipe. And uh, that's just kind of, I don't know. You don't necessarily feel the grip bar so much when you're gripping down. But overall, uh, the other thing I don't like about this glove is that you have to squeeze really hard to keep it in a closed fist surface. Whereas other gloves, they can open, they're flexible, they're really good. Uh, these gloves are just very tight in that regard. You know, I have to really squeeze to keep this glove closed like that, right? Uh, but in general, for me, I still like using them and I still use them pretty often uh, because my hands are pretty strong. I've never really had too many fractures except for when I was younger before I boxed when I was a knucklehead and punch walls for not making a basketball team. Get that. I hate basketball. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, you know, closing your fist so hard for some people is going to strain your wrist, strain your hand. And especially when you have hand wraps on, it's going to be even harder to do that. There's not all the room in the world for these mitts to provide that for you. Uh, so honestly, when I use these, I will just most of the time not even wear wraps and I'll just kind of hit bags with these because it's going to stay in my wraps and there's not a whole lot of room to put hand wraps on unless you're just doing a thin layer to kind of protect your knuckles. Uh, my hands and my skin on my hands and my hands in general are a little bit more durable than the rest of my body uh, because I'm using them every day. Uh, so it doesn't scuff me up. It's not uncomfortable after a while once you start sweating, but it takes a minute for you to wash the staining off of your hand and your hand wraps. And I've had these since May and uh, they still wipe off and stain stuff. So I don't know if that ever goes away, but it hasn't yet for me. So uh, overall, they're decently comfortable for me. I think there are way more comfortable bag mitts out there. Um, but overall, if you want like a, a nice Mexican style made glove that does pretty good, you know, I think these do a good job. I think you'll like using these. And on top of it, they perform the way they're supposed to perform. If you have bad wrists, bad knuckles, avoid them. Uh, if you like punching stuff, if you're a puncher, these are definitely a uh, good bag mitt for you because of the knuckle padding, uh, you know, being so thin, you definitely feel every shot. Obviously, it shouldn't even have to be said, don't spar in them. They're bag mitts. Don't do it. <laughs> Some people do and it baffles me. Just don't do it. Um, but that's basically the idea behind these gloves. If I had to give these gloves a final rating, I'd give them a 7 out of 10. Uh, you know, if not a six, I'll even go with a six out of 10 because the materials that is made of is great. $70 for this. I think there are better bag glove alternatives out there um, that offer better support. I think what you're paying for is that it's coming from a small, uh, a small manufacturer that makes very good equipment with very high quality um, products and high quality materials. The only thing about that is it's just very tight on my hand. I feel like I have to squeeze too hard. I feel like guys are gonna start using this, hurt their wrist, hurt their knuckles a little bit. Um, I also think the glove could be a little bigger you know, for guys with hands my size, they're definitely, even though they're a large, I would have more size options. I'd do small, medium, large, XL. Call it a day there. If it was just a touch bigger, I think it'd be a lot better. And I also would maybe not make the glove so stiff. Uh, the, it's not the leather's fault. I think it's the way the leather stretched over the padding because um, it's not like a loose glove. Like I can't pull any of the material off the padding itself. So it's very one uniform piece of equipment right here. So um, overall, I also think some people might not like how tight the thumb is. Some people might just cut that and put their whole uh, the thumb through. Uh, that's sacrilege for me. I never cut these gloves unless it's like the MMA gloves with a little elastic strap that makes it annoying for me to just open the glove and put it on. Uh, I'm never gonna cut that unless it gets in the way and starts to injure me, which it hasn't yet. So with that said, 
Uh, I give this glove a solid six out of 10. I think there are better options out there. I like using them because I like different things. I think if you're a puncher and you have no real challenges as far as hands go, I think a seven out of 10 would still be great. But I mean, there are gloves that I bought for like 30, 40 bucks that outperform these pretty well. So with that said, guys, uh, I hope that this bag mitt review suited you well. You can get these off BoxUpNation.com. You can also go to Nikali Boxing and find them. I'll post those links in the description below, of course, like I always do. If you have any questions about these gloves, please comment below and ask me questions about the gloves as well as whatever piece of equipment you want me to review next. As always, follow me on social media. I'm trying Twitter out still. That's not really going great, but I'm trying it. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, I usually post something there every day. Uh, and you're welcome to message me on there too. And I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. I do see all your comments, I swear. Uh, and that's why this video was made, actually. Uh, so with that said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way to help the channel. Always let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for choosing your source of combat sports, the Combat Corporation. I've been Al the Postmaster tomorrow, and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day, everybody.